Hi, this is Cheryl at Sea Spirit Tarot, almost at self-healing. It's that too. Um, I am here to do the 31 days of Tarot, and this is the response for day 16. And it might be a little bit longer video because I think I have a lot to say. I'm going to start out with something that came, this book is so old, I can't even tell you how old this book is. Let's see, my kids were born in 79 and 80. So let's call it that era, an old, old book. Let the women of wisdom speak. The good life exists only when you stop wanting a better one. <clears throat> it's the condition of savoring what is, rather than longing for what might be. And then it goes on to talk about a man never earns enough, a woman is never pretty enough, the house is never furnished enough. There's a point at which salvation lies in stepping off the escalator of saying, enough, what I have will do, what I make of it is up to me. And this is by Myra Manns, M-A-N-N-E-S, and I believe, I'm not sure, but I believe that that came out of some old feminist magazine from the early 70s. Could have come out of Mother Earth News, because I don't know, I watched that when it was not a glossy. <laughs> We used to take those middle posters of the Mother's News and put them in our outhouse and we lived out in the woods, four-wheel drive in and four-wheel drive out. So, I'm going to start out balance. Balance. And that is something that I'm having to learn to do. I'm having to do because of my inside guts. We can also look at balance as everything that's going on right now in the universe. And I think it's Coyote Moon. It's Coyote someone. She's real tribal. She's an awesome astrologer. But she was showing last night, I don't know if you can see this, how Saturn, we have the cross of materialism squelching, squelching the subconscious, the consciousness. But with Jupiter, and these are both reversed because of the camera, it is opened up and it is free. It is whoops, free for us to learn, for us to grow in the age of Aquarius. And you know, this is, these are two of the big things, the big factors right now in um, Capricorn going on with that stellium, though Pluto is moving away from Saturn right now, but, but still. So, as y'all know, I, as you've, I've said, I've spent over 30 years in the medical field, which was just absolutely, to me, insane, insanity. And I did a reading with Ouroboros quite a while back, it was a verbal response, and it was a purple cow, and two of the cards that I am to work towards, it was a four card spread, um, is Temperance and the High Priestess, they go together pretty well, and I got to thinking about, well, Temperance represents Sagittarius, doesn't it, and Jupiter has just moved into Capricorn, no, Jupiter, yeah, I'm not sure, where, but whatever, it is the time is, yeah, Capricorn. So as your job, as your mission, the time is now on temperance to teach for higher education, for expansion of philosophy, for everything the Jupiter, beautiful, large Jupiter is, okay? I thought that was pretty cool. Coyote Moon is, I think, the astrologer. So I need to balance. Oh, well, that was something different. Okay, now, that being said, with what I make of it is up to me, I made my tarot card with stuff I had. I didn't go out and buy things. I'm not a scrapbooker. I haven't seen a creative bone in my body unless it's been working in gardening, you know, fixing my little fairy areas or whatever in years. So I made a card of temperance. And when I show you this card, I don't, there was a time, I don't know, 45 years back when the United States House of Representatives, I want to say that, but I'm not sure, one said that nurses didn't need, nurses, you work a 12, 14 hour day, you don't get a break. If you work at a medical school, by three o'clock when you do sit down to have something to eat, the little med students, the doctors are jumping down at the table. We don't have time to leave because we can't leave our patients because we have 
IVs and all this stuff running and you can't dump that on more pe other people because they have just as heavy a load as you do. Now, in some, sometimes in nursing you can take a lunch, you know. You need health service, I could take a lunch. Psych, I can often go take a lunch. But in regular, what people think of as nursing with the stethoscope around your neck, you know, the med surge with the suctions and the IVs and you don't take a break. So anyway, going around, there was this meme and it's Florence Nightingale and it's got her at a casino and it says, um, rare photograph of Florence Nightingale at the nursing station circa 1860. So since I'm having so much issue <laughs> releasing this nursing and it's part of my balance and because this is I'm going through this medical thing right now. I mean, and so is my neighbor who's sick. When I find out the stuff they're doing to him, it's like, oh my God. But I'm stuck in the same game of ladders of the of the uh, corporate drug companies that dictate everything that is done in medical. Anyway, this is my card, and it's funky, and it was made with what I had. So I'm going to have to probably show it in parts, because it said, and why, right? So, since I'm coming out of being a nurse, here's the picture of Florence Nightingale, and she's a dealer at some kind of casino. So, if we go through it, here's the, the water bearer, the balance. I need a chopstick, because it's light. We're all looking for that golden car, core, that connection above our head. And my phone must be ringing because my screen is freezing. I want to do it with the wisdom of the owl. Hoo, hoo. Working on the third eye. In fact, drawing on my blueprint a whole new me. Remaking a new me in my mind. Not just remaking it in my mind, but with control over my mind. Um, here's my, I love horses, so here's my horse with the open third eye. Here's a butterfly of beauty and love, it's kind of got, and this could be, this could be the high heart, the thymus. For the lungs, I put dolphins, because what are dolphins but mana, breath, solar plexus, I have a starfish. Yeah, I did pick up fancy stickers at the dollar store a long way from some of the people scrapbooking in that I had this. This is actually my yearly spread that I drew. So I put those there for her. I think over here, over here, here's that soul lusting, longing, like in my earlier read this morning, to get out and be free. But I feel, still feel trapped. Here's the swan, the emergence of the soul, the emergence of the female. And I cover everything on here. It's pretty funky. It's made with exactly what I had around here, stuff that was photocopied, uh, dollar store stickers. But look, see that light? The light reflects. And there's my yearly spread that I'm contemplating with my crystal ball as a nurse, and how can I use this nursing in other more balanced ways? And I think the tarot is one, and it may evolve into more. I tried to, you have to be the color. Color therapy is so important, and you need to be the color. So I didn't do a very good job, because I'm not an artiste at this time, I should say, uh, of bringing up the colors, which I really didn't put them in very dark, you know, the blue in the throat, and and, and for some reason, I was in the red of the heart, Instead, and I put the green around it, and then one of these pink butterflies should probably be up here. But it's in the DNA, it's in the blood. That's where much of our changing is, and that's where we're changing our vibratory rates. But my task is to balance from being the nurse into being the card slinger. So... That is my response to day 16. I know it's, it's junky, but it's fun. And you know what was the wonderful thing? It, caught, it made me sit down and think about it and quiet my mind 
and put it all together. So, this was day, what did I say? 16 of 31 days of tarot. If you sat through my presentation, I thank you so very, very kindly. May the goddess bless. It's been, I, I also want to say, I, it's my first time you're doing it. And I see all these people giving shout outs. Shout outs. I am overwhelmed. The balancing. I, I am just overwhelmed. And I, and I didn't know to do that or keep a book. So I do want to acknowledge how grateful I am for the interaction I've had with everybody during this because we still got two weeks to go, right, or more. But it has been wonderful, and, it, and it's wonderful to feel a part of which people are making me feel really strongly a part of this community and finding my tribe. Finding my tribe has been a very hard thing for me lately. I haven't felt like I've had a tribe. So I thank everybody for the, the golden light that they're shedding on me, on everybody. Many blessings. May the goddess bless. See you next time with the next uh, cue.